Hello, everyone. I'm Anthony Alfredo, and welcome to this episode of Who's Next. Today, we're going to stay right here in the state of North Carolina, and I want to welcome 11-year-old Hudson Knight, who is a Bandolero driver from Candler, North Carolina. How are you doing this evening, Hudson? Good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. For the viewers that may not know, what is a Bandolero? Um, it is a one-fourth scale uh, race car, um, mainly for uh, young racers to get into the sport, but adults can uh, race them too. That's awesome. It sounds like a great way to get your feet wet in the racing industry. You've moved up to the Bandit class. What's the difference between the two of those? Um, so most places now, we don't have to run a restrictor plate. Um, the competition is a, a little bit harder. We race with more experienced people. And the racing is just a little bit better because um, people are not all the time are wrecking and spinning out. Um, so we have a little bit more cleaner races. That's awesome. Well, when did you first start competing? Um, they let you start at eight years old. And um, I started practicing about two years before that. So I could already have a uh, laps under my belt when I started. Excellent. Well, this has been a, bit, a busy year in particular, over 38 races. You won 20 of them, uh, 10 second place finishes, and only four finishes outside the top five. How have you been able to be that consistent? Um, I've got a lot of great people, uh, Mike Gordon and Corey Gordon. They work on my cars um, every day. Um, Trevor Cowell that does my engines, um, he does good on that. There's a lot of people that have helped me this year. Um, my dad and a couple other people have just really uh, taught me the lines because uh, moving up this year, first year in bandits, um, it's a lot different getting used to it. And I just and all those people just really helped me this year. That's great. I understand in all those races you won, you just recently won a road course race over the weekend. So I'd love to hear a little bit more about that one. Um, we started uh, first row on the outside. Um, Luckily, we cleared uh, first place um, coming out of two, and uh, we just uh, set our sights out front, and uh, we got a good gap in one. That's, that always makes it easier when you've got nothing in your windshield. It's always a nice sight to see, and you can use up all the racetrack you want. You won the INEC Summer Shootout at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Sounds like Charlotte's one of your favorites on the list. Uh, what was it like to race at such a legendary track like Charlotte? Um, it's super cool. Uh, some of my favorite drivers have raced there. Um, I just think it's super cool to win at a place like that because in previous years we have not done good this year. And this year, I mean, this is like the best year by far and had a lot of fun this year. That's great. I'll never forget the first time I pulled out in a legend car onto the quarter mile track. It was looking at the big mile and a half intermediate track of Charlotte Motor Speedway and uh, fortunate enough to, to actually race on that track too. So Sure, we'll see you on there one day. Now, now winning the summer shootout would be a very successful year for most drivers, but you also won a Bandolero National Championship and the All-Star Race even at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Out of all those, which one is the top of your list? Um, probably have to be the All-Star Race in Atlanta because um, I enjoyed, uh, I got to race against the Outlaws and I actually beat them. And to me, that was uh, one of my highlights this year. Sweet. And now you're currently in the fifth grade. So what does your fellow classmates think about you being a race car driver? Because I know I went through this too, so I'd be really curious to see uh, where your perspective is and, and what they think about all this. Um, when I told them, they were all in shock and had so many questions. And they thought it was cool that I could actually drive a race car, and so is my teacher. That's neat. It is pretty crazy. I think one of the most common questions you probably get is, how can you drive a race car when you're not old enough to drive on the road, right? Yeah, that's one of the most common questions I get. <laughs> Do you have a favorite subject in school? Um, uh, I like math. It's not bad. Uh, that's an important factor in racing, so it's always going to be good at math. We're going to play a little game now called Rapid Fire. I'm going to ask you five non-racing questions in 30 seconds. Are you ready to play? Yes. First, what is your favorite food? Steak. What is your favorite sport outside of racing? Basketball. Your favorite movie? Um, Ford versus Ferrari. What's your favorite band? 
Uh, the song Thunderstruck by ACDC. And lastly, favorite superhero? Dale Earnhardt Sr. <laughs> That's a good – that is an excellent – pick right there i i haven't heard that one yet but i love it that is a good superhero i know you come from a family of racers and have been around late model racing from a young age when do you think you'll be ready to jump behind the wheel of a late model um we're working on one now hopefully we can get to testing after the start of next year that's awesome I, i'd love to hear how that goes look forward to seeing that do you have a favorite track that you're look looking forward to racing at most once the time rolls around yeah, we've got a couple. I'd like to race at the Nashville Fairground Speedway, Five Flags, and Martinsville. All, all great short tracks. I like those three. Probably some of the three best in the country, possibly. What are your plans for 2022? Um, I'd probably stay in uh, Bandits and try to defend my uh, championship. That'd be great to go back to back. Well, now, where do you see yourself in five years at the age of 16? Um. Hopefully driving a super late model, uh, winning some races, and uh, try to get to the next thing, ARCA. Maybe at some of those tracks you mentioned earlier as well. Well, outside of racing, what do you like to do? Um, I like to fish, hunt, uh, play basketball, golf, tennis. That's awesome. It's always great to be well-rounded and explore other things. I'm sure it's good good uh, warm-up and, and training even for, for racing. So. To wrap things up, do you have any sponsors you'd like to thank? Um, just um, my dad and my mom uh, for working hard so I can do this. I love it. And how can the fans keep up with you? Um, they can keep up with me on Facebook at Hudson Knipe Racing and on Instagram at Hudson Knipe Racing. All right. We'll be sure to give it a like. Well, there you have it, 11-year-old Hudson Knipe. He's not only a star on the track, but off the track as well. I'm sure you'll be hearing a lot more from this young man over the next few years. That's it for this episode of Who's Next. Find out next month who the next is as well. I'm Anthony Alfredo, and now back to the bullring.